Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. I'm Nigel Croft and it's Monday the 9th of October. In this video we'll be looking at two UK and two US stocks. In the UK we're going to concentrate on the small investment bank stockbroking companies of Numis, which is the code NUM, and Bruin Dolphin, which is the code BRW. Then in the States, we're going to look at Walbrook's Boots Alliance, WBA, which was hit heavily on Friday as there's concerns that Amazon are going to move into selling pharmaceutical stocks. And we'll also look at the stock that's always in the news, Tesla, TSLA. Let's look at those charts. <music> So starting with uh, New Miss, let's just go to the chart. Sorry, I had the wrong, wrong chart up. Um, and here you can see that last week we were very close to moving to new high ground. Uh, we're certainly at the top of the trading range. The moving averages are all looking good. If slightly over, we're slightly overextended away from them, but certainly we had a golden cross 20 crossing 200 and the 50 crossing the 200, and they're all moving upwards. Um, on the momentum, you can see that we were in, we've got solid momentum both from the RSI and the MACD. The RSI presently 66.07. On the daily picture. Um, you can see that we just fell away from the high, which was three pounds. So we are getting big num number syndrome as we get towards that three pounds level. Um, if there were to be a consolidation, you can see there's solid support 285 and then from the rising uh, 20 day at 280 and the 50 at 275. Again, from this daily, you can see positive momentum with the RSI in an uptrend and the MACD um, in positive uh, formation with the short above the long and both above zero. On the four hour, um, again, moving averages are okay, a bit overextended, which you'd expect to and a good market to move with the 20 on the four hour. We're slightly above there. That will give support at 288. Again, positive momentum. So overall on new miss, um, at a new high ground, buy on consolidation, expect to move into new high ground given the, uh, the, the, the strong momentum on the stock. Bruin Dolphin, here we're looking at the weekly. Uh, you can see we're in a short term downtrend. If that were to be broken by a move back above the 357, one would expect to move into new high ground. Again, the moving averages are positive. It was very positive two weeks ago when we found support from the 20 week, which is rising. Um, slight loss of momentum on the RSIs. It's in a, in, a, in a very shallow downtrend, but it is above 50, 59.75. Likewise, the MACD have slightly lost that upside momentum. On the daily picture, um, you can see that we got back above the 20 day, which was moving down um, at the end of the uh, of two weeks ago. Uh, we're now having trouble getting above the 50 day. Uh, we're trading right on it. It is moving down. Uh, the 20 will start to rise up and it'll be very interesting uh, in about a week whether the 20 and the 50 form a golden cross when they're both moving up and the 20 crosses the 50. So keep an eye on that. If that is the case, there's also a chance by then that we'll have confirmation of a reverse head and shoulder and that would then see this resistance point at uh, just below the 360 being broken and then one would expect further upside. Uh, for the downside it would need a break of the support at 338 so to have any concerns. MACD are positive although they are still below zero but they are showing some positive momentum 
as is the RSI, which is presently at 54.17 and in an uptrend. And moving on to the four hour, um, here we're just about to get a golden cross, 20 crossing the 200. They're both support levels. Again, you can see the resistance um, at this 358 level. Um, it would be good if we could break above there. Um, MACD and RSI both tracking sideways, but with some upside momentum, 58.7, and the MACD is above zero. Okay, moving across to the US stocks, uh, Walgreens Boots Alliance. Um, hit heavily on Friday and you can see it fell below its support of the 200 week on negative momentum the RSI down at 32 spot 03 perhaps on the RSI slightly oversold and we have got the support from the week of the 8th of Feb 16 um, so we're falling into support so it'd be no surprise if we get a short term bounce on the daily and you can see the extremity of the fall on friday that's taken as well below the moving averages the moving averages are negative the 20 has crossed the 50 in a bearish cross um, and the momentum is very bad but we are overextended and a short-term rally um, back up between 75 and 76 really should be expected that will take into into the resistance of the 23rd of june um, but will allow these moving averages to catch up somewhat and this oversold level on the rsi uh, presently 24.59 to unwind on the four hour again very oversold uh, 23 spot 51 on the RSI and the MACD down in very heavy negative territory. Um, again, no support overextended from the moving averages, but they are all negative, short term bounce. But all the pictures on Walls Grooves Boot Alliance do look negative for the medium term. Okay, moving on to Tesla. And here on the weekly, you can see we're finding support from the rising 20 week moving average. Um, they did create a, a bullish scenario back in February. Um, so hopefully they that 20 week will hold um, momentum slightly being lost, but still is positive. Um, we're 57 on the RSI, but the MACD are tracking down. On the daily, um, you can see we're finding support from the 50 day. Um, hopefully, we'll, it, for the upside, it needs to get back above the 20 day as well, or that will start to roll down. Um, we are in this um, uptrend channel, midway in the uptrend channel. Um, a break below this low of the 3rd of October, which is at 332, would see that broken um, so keep an eye on that on the downside just in case um, RSI is at 52.78 and is trying to create an uptrend likewise the MACD are turning uh, but they're bang on zero and finally going on to the four hour and here you, you can see the uptrend uh, quite clearly in place we're presently trading around the 50 on the four hour. If we can hold above that, that would be good and allow the 20 to catch up. Uh, 20 is back below the 200 at the moment. RSI is flat and just above 50, 55.82. MACD are moving back up. Um, hopefully if they go back above zero, that'll give the push above the 50 moving average. So that's been TA for traders having a look at four stocks. Uh, I hope you found the video of interest. Uh, new miss look good. Um, if there's a consolidation, it'd be short term and then we expect to push into new high ground. Bruin Dolphin also uh, BRW looked reasonably okay. Uh, Wal 
wall green boots alliance look very vulnerable but there will be a po possible short term bounce but medium term look bad and tesla is in the medium of the uptrend channel um let's see what happens there keep keep your eye on the um on the moving averages thank you for watching please remember these videos are my opinion and they're not meant as an investment recommendation